Hello. Thank you all so much for coming out today. And I just want to say to the SNAs here, and to the school principals here, and to the teachers here, and to the parents here, and most importantly to the children here, good on you, and we will keep fighting with you. The Minister for Education, when he's been asked why he's cutting 272 SNAs, has said there's no money. We're insolvent. There's nothing I can do about it. In September, his friend, Minister Noonan, is going to write a cheque for 706 million euros. That's going to the Anglo bondholders, who nobody knows who they are. That money would pay for every SNA who's been cut for 70 years. Here's what I say to Minister Quinn and Minister Noonan. How dare you? How dare you cut 10 million from the most vulnerable people in our society when you pay 70 times that much to a bunch of anonymous foreigners? How dare you? The SNA story is a good news story. It's a great news story. We've had thousands and thousands of dedicated special needs assistants recruited over the years and they have become further and further integrated into the classrooms. Several fantastic proposals have been made to the Minister to integrate them further. What you don't do right now is cut one of the best things going on in your education system. You invest in it. The other speakers here have said it, and I'll say it again. We can be heard. I'm new to politics, but I can tell you this. Politicians are a lot more sensitive to what's going on out here and what arrives in their inbox and what they see on telly than I ever believed. This is going to require a sustained effort. The meeting here today is an extraordinary statement of intent. So finally, thank you all. We will all stand with you and we will force them to reverse this insane cut.